Occasionally, we receive an email at TomBarrington.com inquiring about the authenticity of the Stingray leather that we use in our products because there is no white diamond painted on them. Reading these emails, it seems that some people think that Stingray leather products are not authentic without a white diamond painted on them. I have even read at least one website from a seller of Stingray leather goods that claims that this white diamond is a natural part of Stingray fish. Neither of these things are true. So I thought I would take a few minutes today and show you the origin of this white diamond and what it actually means when you see it on Stingray leather products. I have with me today the actual dried carcass of a stingray fish. This is the same species that we and other manufacturers of leather goods use to make our products. Now this fish is farmed for food. The stingray fish is farmed for the meat that is contained in the wing areas. Once the meat is removed, the remainder, this area, is what is sold to leather tanneries to make leather products. This is the area that becomes stingray leather as you know it. Now notice this area along the back. This area has thorns or nodules protruding from the back of the stingray. These are made of calcium just like bone is. During the tanning process of this leather these are sanded down leaving small roundish marks where they used to be. Some people call them pearls, but they aren't actually really pearls, they're just pearl shaped. Now this is the area where that white diamond is that you see on many stingray leather products. Notice in this fish there is no diamond shape that naturally occurs. This runs counter to any claim that that diamond shape is a natural part of the stingray fish. Now once this leather area is removed, it is sent to a leather tannery where it is divided by size and eventual color. This one will be used to make darker colored stingray products. This one will be used to make lighter colored stingray products. Notice this area along the back of this leather. This is where those thorns or nodules are that were on the stingray fish. Notice that even at this point in the tanning process there is no diamond shape. There is no white diamond or eye on the stingray leather. Now from here these leathers are dyed in a rotating drum for several hours. This process will dye this substrate leather below the surface of the stingray skin. Now the surface of stingray leather is covered in thousands of tiny beads. These beads are made of calcium. As you can imagine, calcium is very hard and will not absorb dye very well. So the next step will be to spray dye these leathers and cover these calcium beads with their eventual color. It is during the spray dyeing process where the diamond is painted on the surface of stingray leather as you will soon see. Now here are two pieces of stingray leather that have been both drum dyed and spray dyed. You can see that this leather now has a white diamond painted on it. This diamond was spray painted on here using a stencil. Now I'm not sure who first came up with the idea to put a white diamond on stingray leather, but its only purpose is to highlight the area on the stingray fish where the thorns or the nodules were removed. This piece of stingray leather has no diamond on it. That is because this leather was tanned for use in our Tom Barrington products. The decision to put a diamond shape on stingray leather products is simply a choice made by tanneries or manufacturers of stingray leather goods. Here are those two wallets again that you saw at the beginning of this video. Both of them are made from genuine stingray leather. This one has a white diamond painted on it. This one, our product, does not. I chose not to have diamonds painted on our products because in my opinion it interrupts the natural caviar texture that stingray leather is famous for. 
and I don't believe our customers need a big white diamond painted on their products just to highlight where thorns used to be on the stingray fish. The presence of these pearls, combined with the natural texture of the leather itself, are all that is necessary for a lover of stingray leather to enjoy the natural beauty of this product. I hope that in this video I have been able to show you the process of how stingray leather is made and where the white diamond that you see on many stingray leather products actually comes from. Once again, it is not a natural part of the stingray leather and its presence or absence on the surface of stingray leather products is not in and of itself an indicator of the authenticity of the stingray leather. Thank you for watching and be sure to visit our website at TomBarrington.com for more of our stingray leather products.